Are we good? <laughs> okay, this is happening. I've been waiting three years to sit down and film this video for you guys. That's how long this project has taken and I cannot believe it's actually here now. I need a jilt pill right now. So just about three years ago, I did a curated makeup brush collection with Sigma Beauty with a few of my favorite brushes from them. What? And at the time that was like so beyond incredible because they're one of the first brands I ever bought myself like when I was in college filming with the construction light, all of that in the Harry Potter closet room. The Sigma F80 brush, that exact brush I still have to this day from 2012. That Sigma F80 brush has been with me from the beginning of my YouTube channel. All because of you guys and your support of that collection, Sigma came to me and asked if I wanted to make three brushes of my very own from scratch <laughs> with my very own imagination. I was gonna say hands, but my brain. Literally, I'm gonna try and find the sketches. I was like drawing them out. This was my first sketch. I can't make this shit up, but here's just a few iterations of the many iterations over the last few years but I got to create brushes that I felt like were totally missing from the market. There's kind of like standard brushes and brush shapes that I feel like every brand has, but on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm doing my makeup, there's certain things I look for with brushes. And so it was so freaking cool and unreal to be able to be like, this shape doesn't exist, or it would be really great if this brush I could use to apply powder underneath my eyes or concealer or whatever. I just got to totally from scratch come up with and test so many samples. You guys, we went through so many rounds. Sigma probably hates me right now because um, I'm very picky if I'm putting my name on something because I want it to be the best it could possibly be. I just want it to be ones that I would personally use every single day in my makeup routine that I thought you guys would love as well and that aren't super common or if at all, one of the brushes I've never seen any kind of brush shaped like this. So because I could literally create any brush that my, my brain could dream up, I really sat down and thought about, I already had a couple that I was like, for sure this is happening because I knew they didn't exist, like the perfect brush shape <laughs> that I was thinking of didn't exist. But I really sat down and thought about what was missing. Like when you go to do your makeup, for me, I kind of like hack certain things or use brushes for other things because there aren't the perfect brushes on the market for what I like. Keep in mind, everyone's different. But should I just show you them? I think I should show you them now. <laughs> but I got to design literally everything, you guys, the brush fibers, the color, the handles, the names, the description, the actual shapes, obviously, literally everything. So I just wanted to thank you guys and thank Sigma Beauty for uh, believing that I could do this and trusting me because it was a long process, but we got here. And then with COVID, the delays for like actually getting the products in, it was a whole thing, but we're here. And it's launch day today, by the way. So when you're seeing this video, the brushes are live right now. I'm gonna leave it right at the top of the description box linked down below. Sigma Ships US and international. So if you're abroad, you can get this one. And there is a limited quantity available for this. So if you're interested at all, I would hop on it right now. I'll have more information about stocking and stuff on Instagram. That's where I usually update after everything. I think it's time to show you them. Oh my God, my heart. Here's my babies. Wow, this was a labor of love, truly. So it comes with the box. All of Sigma's brushes have a two year warranty and they are fully waterproof. So you actually can wash them however you want. They're waterproof, come in plastic wrap. Here's the new ones. I have my very used and loved ones right here. I also have a whole bag of the samples, but I friggin' packed them away. I wish I could show you them. I'll show you them at some point when I move wherever. But these are the ones I've been using every day. I actually have been sneaking this guy into videos lately. I just like covered my name on the handle. All right, they're coming out of the wrapping. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Here they are. So you get three face brushes, golden black handles, and two of these are actually different fibers, brush fibers than Sigma's ever used. So they actually source these specifically for these brushes, which is really cool. I'm gonna go through each, show you what you can use it for and show you applying products with the brushes. So let's start off with the concealer coverage brush. I love all of these, but out of all of them, this is like my ride or die brush because it is so hard to find concealer brushes like this. I've tried all of the brushes that are shaped similar to this. You guys know I've like showed trying them in videos and stuff for years and there wasn't a perfect one for the under eyes in my opinion for what I like. So I created the perfect guy. So this one's called concealer coverage because I have issues with concealer brushes underneath my eyes. A lot of brushes, sponges, everything just like take away the coverage when I put concealer underneath my eyes. You could also use this for spot concealing, but I wanted a brush that was round, densely packed, and that just fit perfectly underneath the eyes. This does not take away the coverage of your concealer, blends it out seamlessly, and is just the perfect tiny little size for underneath the eyes. I haven't found a brush that is the right amount of density like this one, and this, I went through so many samples 
samples is crazy because if you just add like the millimeter length, it totally changes the brush. So there were so many versions where I had more fibers and it was like more of an, a circle shape and then had longer bristles, shorter bristles, and finally got it just right where it's the right amount of density and the right length. Brush number two is the dense powder brush. Again, a thing I've talked about for years on my channel. I can never seem to find the perfect powder brush that is dense to where when you use powder foundation or you use loose powder, pressed powder, whatever, dense powder brushes just apply powder on these so much better than loose powder brushes. I actually have one sample here. I went through longer ones, shorter ones, a lot more samples. Those were just like the last most recent two, but this is the fiber that Sigma hasn't used before yet. And it is so soft. And I love this for applying face powder, powder foundation. You can also use this for bronzer. If you like more of like a dense bronzer brush, most brushes, it's like up to you to use in whatever way you want. You can get creative with it. So if you're seeing these and you're like, I like more of a loose powder brush, you might like this for bronzer, you might like it for something else. If you have issues with powder picking up your foundation underneath, this is what I wanted to create, the perfect brush that doesn't pick up the foundation underneath, that just presses powder into your skin really nice and densely. It is so soft. And then the last brush is a smooth under eye brush. And this is like, this is the zebra of the pack because I, I don't think I've ever seen, was that a good analogy? No. I have always wanted a brush like this and they don't exist, but this is intended to be used for under eye powder. Again, you can use this with loose or pressed powder. I tend to only like press powder underneath my eyes, so that's what I use it for. So this brush is a slight angle, so it's actually longer on one side and it's a triangle shape. And the reason why it's angled is so that it fits flat against your face when you're pressing it on. So it curves to the face to like hug your under eye and line up with your cheekbone, if that makes sense. Again, I find that dense brushes usually work better for me on my under eyes. And because this one has a tapered shape, you can also use it to clean up your shadow really nicely. It has like that crisp edge, or you can use it down here if you're someone who bakes, or you can flip it the other way and use it for powder contour if you like a really precise kind of contour. I really like to add coverage to my under eyes by using powder, but again, you could use this with translucent powder as well if you're into that. And this has the same super soft powder fibers. All of Sigma's brushes are also vegan and cruelty-free and made with synthetic fibers. The price of the set is $73 and they're only sold as a set. They're not sold individual. But again, I've had my Sigma brushes for now 10 years. <laughs> yeah, it's 2022, man. So Sigma's quality is just, you can't beat it. And they have the two-year warranty. Thank you guys so much for your support. Like always, even if you don't purchase a brush set or you're not able to, just thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching my channel. Just your comments and everything. I appreciate so much. So thank you for sticking around. Thanks for being here. I love you guys. I'm gonna leave the brushes linked down below. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.